This is the Chateau de Vincennes in Paris. Events here would motivate one man's journey to uncover the cosmic truth about the steam engine and help to create a new science, the science of heat and motion, thermodynamics. In March 1814, during the Napoleonic Wars, when Napoleon and his armies were fighting elsewhere, Paris itself came under sustained attack from the combined forces of Russia, Prussia and Austria. And citizens of the city were deployed around key locations to protect them. Now, this chateau was being defended by a group of inexperienced young students who were forced to retreat under sustained artillery fire. One of them, was a brilliant young scientist and soldier. His name was Nicola Leonard Sadi Carno, and the humiliation he felt personally would drive him and motivate him to uncover a profound insight into how all engines work. Carno came from a highly respected military family. After the French defeat here and elsewhere around Europe, he became determined to reclaim French pride. What really bothered Carnot was the technological superiority that France's enemies seemed to possess. And Britain in particular had this huge advantage, both militarily and economically, because of its mastery of steam power. So, Carno vowed to really try and understand how steam engines work and use that knowledge for the benefit of France. He says absolutely explicitly that if you could take away steam engines from Britain, then the British Empire would collapse. And he's writing in the wake of French military defeat and he proposes to analyse, literally, the source of British power by analysing the way in which fire and heat engines work. Living on half pay with his brother Hippolyte in a small apartment in Paris, in 1824, Carnot wrote the now legendary Reflections on the Motive Power of Fire. In just under 60 pages, he developed and abstracted the fundamental way in which all heat engines work. Carnot saw that all heat engines comprised of a hot source in cooler surroundings. Now, Carnot believed that heat was some kind of substance that would flow like water from the hot to the cool. And just like water falling from a height, the flow of heat could be tapped to do useful work. Carnot's crucial insight was to show that to make any heat engine more efficient, all you had to do was to increase the difference in temperature between the heat source and the cooler surroundings. This idea has guided engineers for 200 years. Ultimately, a car engine is more efficient than a steam engine because it runs at a much hotter temperature. Jet engines are more efficient still, thanks to the incredible temperatures they can run at. 